Barbara, this place is incredible. Yes, it's the hangout for Miami's literary intelligentsia. Ah, thank you. Well, I've never seen a menu with a table of contents before. Skip ahead to chapter five. It's the lunch menu. Oh, gee, everything sounds so good. The crepes of wrath. <laughs> the old man and the seafood salad. I think I will have the for whom the stuffed bell pepper toads. <laughs> And I'll have a turkey sandwich on catcher in the rye bread with a side order of George Bernard Slaw. You know, Barbara, I've really come to value our friendship, and that's why I feel I can talk to you about something that's been bothering me. Feel free. I know if I had a problem, I'd want to confide in someone like me. Well, ever since we became friends, there has been a great deal of tension between Blanche and Rose and me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to infringe on your friendship. Oh, no, no, it's not your fault. The, the problem is they feel left out of our friendship, and I don't know what to do about it. Face it, Dorothy. Blanche and Rose are limited. Well, I admit I get tired of hearing about Blanche's dates and Rose's relatives back in St. Olaf, but they are very good friends. Well, if you like them, I must have overlooked something. I have an idea. Why don't I invite everybody and their dates for dinner at the Mortimer Club? The Mortimer Club? Barbara, that is the most exclusive club in town. Here we are, ladies. Oh, thank you. I didn't order the French fries. All right, you get the Edgar Allan Poe potatoes and the ice water cometh. Uh, you know, a little of that goes a very long way. 